Uranus, this is a huge crinoid calyx from Lake Cumberland, which is Mississippian age, about 350 million years old. That's that's the. It it may be this species here that we're seeing in the book, and it's called Onychocrinus grandis, the Fort Payne formation. So these are the arms, they're curved in up at the top. This is the base of the crown. This right here is where the stem attached. This is a little bit distorted. Just huge. Here's one of the free uh, crinoid osicles right there. That looks like a ring. This was a, a crinoid given to us by some friends of ours. They, they had their grandkids up and went for a boat ride on Lake Cumberland, stopped on the shore because the girls wanted to pick up some geodes. They found sparkly rocks and picked this one up because it was kind of strange and they took them all home and when the girls got ready to go home, they took all the sparkly rocks they wanted back to Florida with them. And there were about six or seven pieces left over sitting on a stump behind the house and our friend said, well gee, some of it's fossils and maybe you can tell us. So we went over to check it out and this is what it was, a complete crinoid head. And we've been hunting for years for these things and never found one like this. Right. It was just amazing that they said, well if you want it, you can have it. Right. So we got it. <laughs> amazing. Because this may be the biggest one in the world known now. Yeah, right. well this is apparently, according to Dave, this is one of two specimens that are known. Right. And this one may be actually bigger than the type specimen. Right. Great. Amazing. Okay.